Hello, and welcome to Steelbook Obsessed. My name is Jake, and I have been obsessed with Laserdiscs ever since I got my player about a month, month and a half ago. I saw on Facebook Marketplace another fellow collector that was very, very close to where I lived, so we met up, we had a Switch earlier this year, I bought a lot of 100-ish, 125 laser discs. I had some he didn't have. He had way more than I did, and I wanted some of his. We just did a Yankee swap. Let me show you what I got. Inside this box, I have more movies. I think we did like a 30 for 30 trade. I think I traded him a little bit more, but he had some titles in here that I loved, some Criterion discs that I wanted to add to the collection very badly. Let's go through these one by one. Let's swap this sucker over and hopefully they're all looking right. First up, we have Ham on Rye. Love me some Looney Tunes. I actually have the complete Tex Avery set right there that I've been watching with my with my family, with my daughters. Uh, they love it. So I've been getting a lot of different cartoons on Laserdisc. This one just looks great. Ham on Rye. Love me some Looney Tunes. That's number one. Number two. Heck yes. Blank check, baby. This was a staple in my household growing up. Loved this movie. Wanted to be that kid so damn bad. It's a little problematic now that he really uh, <laughs> made out with a girl that's like 20 years older than him. I uh, really wanted to be that kid very badly. Look at that floaty. It just, I don't know. This movie holds a very special place in my heart. Now I have it on Laserdisc. I don't even have it on Blu-ray yet. An American Tale, Fievel Goes West. I watched this one a few times growing up, but I really just wanted to re-watch it. And that's why I picked this one up. Because honestly, don't remember too much about it. I remember the animation style being very cool. A little mix of like early animated CGI in here as well with like the transitions and stuff. Can't wait to recheck out this sucker. Here's one from my childhood. I owned like 30... Yeah, like 30 VHS tapes somewhere around there. This was one of them. The Page Master. And I feel like nobody talks about it. I loved Macaulay Culkin. Probably my favorite actor as a kid because of Home Alone. And uh, this movie, not as good as Home Alone, but still good. Got some Christopher Lloyd in there. Got some Patrick Stewart. And uh, yeah, he goes into a library, gets sucked in with books, goes into a magical world. Also played uh, the Sega Genesis game of this. Really liked that. Really liked this movie. Next up, I watched every single John Carpenter movie, and this one I feel like it slept on way too much. We have John Carpenter's Starman. Ooh, I zoomed out there. There we go. John Carpenter's Starman. Um, pretty solid romantic comedy road trip movie here. Uh, Jeff Bridges is an alien, and uh, hijinks ensue. Very solid. This is getting a 4K release finally from the uh, Columbia Presents line, Volume 4. I uh, cannot wait for it. Here's another movie. Again, Laserdisc movies kind of line up with my childhood. So here's one that has not gotten a Blu-ray release, has not gotten a 4K release, but it did get a Laserdisc. It's Flubber, baby. Um, honestly, as a kid, I thought this was okay, so I'm nervous to rewatch this, but I've been meaning to rewatch it because, you know, it's Robin Williams. It's a kid's movie. Flubber's crazy. I have a Flubber toy up here that whenever I post it, on my short form videos people love it and i cannot wait to rewatch it because honestly it's been like 20 years here's another looney tunes one duck victory daffy duck screen classics yeah i don't know what there is to say there not a bad image did i mention i like animation here is some tom and jerry for you cartoon festival number two featuring mouse in manhattan and saturday evening puss uh, uh i'm gonna stop <laughs> I could make a lot of different comments there. Looks like property of PVI marketing and planning. Wonder what that's about. Pioneer sample disc. Very cool. I don't know. I like seeing old old movies like this like during the time of their release. Here's another one, The Flintstones. I have not seen this movie in so, so long. But uh, I do remember liking it. Halle Berry's in here. Rosie O'Donnell, John Goodman, Rick Moranis. What is there not to love? I have not seen this one. I've seen Five Will Goes West. I have not seen the original in American Tale. And uh, yeah, that's the main reason why I got this because I really wanted to see it. You open it up. It's one of those dual ones, I believe. Yeah. Look at that. Just like a vinyl. Animation is extraordinarily because it frees the mind. It also frees the heart. Steven Spielberg. Very cool stuff. Is this movie good? Let me know in the comments. I got this one. 
because anytime I can add horror, I will. It's very beat up, but this is Scream. But the main reason why I got this, exclusive widescreen director's cut? Um, what? <laughs> I did not know Scream had a director's cut. I'm intrigued a lot with this one. Looks like it has some digital tracks, the film soundtrack on here, audio commentary by Wes Craven. Again, beat up to all get out. But I do kind of want to see if there's a difference between the regular cut and the director's cut. Maybe a possible video on that. Depends on how different it is. Love me some SNL movies. He has Coneheads. Ah! Love Coneheads. Uh, soundtrack is phenomenal. I think one of the best SNL movies that has ever been made, I would say, probably goes Wayne's World and Blues Brothers up here. Coneheads right underneath it, in my opinion. This movie finally got announced for a... 4K restoration and release. Cannot wait. But I have it on Laserdisc now. True Lies. Um, I don't know what else you can say about True Lies. It's great. I'm glad more people are finally going to be able to watch it. Because you can't like stream it anywhere either. But here's True Lies, baby. On the pile you go. Next one. Yes. Love this movie. That thing you do. Uh, it's got very like Beatles-esque music in here. Tom Hanks directed this movie. And it's a very solid movie. If you've not seen this. Highly recommend it. Uh, the holidays are coming up. I didn't know this existed. Mr. Magoo's Christmas Carol. I will pop this in this holiday season. I'm always looking to see if there's a new uh, holiday classic I can add to the rotation. The animation style does not look great just looking at this. But you know what? I'll give it a shot. I love this type of material. It's like test footage from the times. Like, oh, state of the art. Video Essentials, optimizing your audio video system. And just kind of looking at the, you know, <laughs> everything that was popular and top of the line at the time. I love stuff like this. So that's why I picked this one up. Rick Moranis, I got a couple of these. Here's Honey, I Blew Up the Kid, Giant Entertainment. An animated short off her rock or off his rockers. I'm not sure what that is. I know Honey, I uh, Shrunk the Kids had a Roger Rabbit cartoon. Does this one have the same thing? I don't know. But I'll find out. Off his rockers. Very intrigued by that. But then, of course, I also had to get Honey, I Shrunk the Kids right here. Love both these movies. I even love, like, the made-for-VHS movie, Honey, We Shrunk Ourselves. I love this entire franchise. Another movie that I love, as a kid, Rookie of the Year. I wanted to break my arm and join the majors just like this guy did. I can't even remember his name. But I do remember Daniel Stern's in here. And he's phenomenal. Gary Busey is the love interest. Look at that stash. Oh, my God. Uh, Daniel Stern is hilarious in here. If I'm not mistaken, he directed this, right? Yeah, Daniel Stern directed this. And it's good. I don't know if he directed anything else. But Rookie of the Year, pretty dang solid. Love this movie. I rewatched it for the first time with that Arrow Video 4K re-release. True Romance. This is the unrated cut, director's cut, unrated director's cut look at that i was i was right on both featuring footage not seen in theaters i don't know just the classic artwork packaging on here it's a good if you've never seen true romance highly recommend it it's like you're watching a dream almost here's a couple more looney tunes looney tunes assorted nuts that's nuts but i do like that nice imagery there got some classic cartoons in here as well can't go wrong with some looney tunes in my opinion i just missed hanging this up during spooky dookie season but I got for next year, Looney Tunes After Dark. And again, yeah, just love me some Looney Tunes. I think there's one more, one more or two more. Winner by a hair, 14 of Bugs Bunny's best. Again, I will just pop these in and make a night out of watching shorts. And fun thing about these shorts, you can log them on Letterboxd, and I do love every minute of it. This is the last one, I believe. The Road Runner versus Wiley e. Coyote. If at first you don't succeed, dot, 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 you keep on going. Wiley e. Coyote, Roadrunner, love those shorts. Here's another one of those like, hey, for the time, here's how you can set up your uh, brand new setup. A video standard, optimizing your audio video system. Look at this here. It's like a 1993 news station. I just love all this stuff. I really do. If we open this up, a whole lot of boring stuff in there. Let's not do that. But the rest of them, the last of these Vi or not vinyl, Jesus, last of these laser discs are going to be the Criterion Collection. Are you ready for this? Here, the Criterion Collection for Blade Runner. That's right. I love the logo on these Criterion laser discs. Never seen that logo before. They obviously stopped once uh, laser disc weren't a thing. This is number, if you focus, number 19. 
Maybe I won't show that. Here's number 19 right here of Blade Runner. Obviously, this movie is a classic. I don't own it on any other format. I like 2049 a little bit better than this version. Um, I don't know what cut of the film is on here either. I'm assuming the theatrical. But some kind of cool concept imagery in here as well. Blade Runner. Next up, we have Lawrence of Arabia. I have this on 4K. I have not watched it yet. Uh, this is number 78 in the collection here. Uh, a lot of the laser discs I've noticed have not had special features, but the Criterion Collection does, which is very cool. There's some newsreel footage, footage of the 62 premiere. I'll let you read the rest. And this is before DVDs, obviously. They didn't know how chapters worked, so they just kind of said, hey, this little snippet is going to be this part of the movie. And yeah, I kind of like that. Like You know this quote? If you like that quote, go to this part of the disc. Here's what the inside looks like here. Cannot wait to start watching these. Next one up. We have Train Spotting. This bums me out. I wasn't even going to take this, but he threw it in for free. It's waterlogged like crazy. Like, I'm going to keep this in the protective packaging that it's in because it's so waterlogged. Uh, Train Spotting is a fun one. It's cool that it got a Criterion release. I did not know that. I can't even read the number right now. 325, I believe, is what it is. Danny Boyle. Can't go wrong. There's Train Spotting. Next up. Yeah, mm. Brad Mare Taters, mm. Sling Blade, Billy Bob Thornton. Um, again, very cool that this got a Criterion release. I don't know. I have not seen Sling Blade in a very, very long time. But here's the inside. This one also got a little bit waterlogged, but not super terrible. Got Sling Blade. And you can see in the box right there, the last laser disc I got. Very interesting that The Wizard of Oz got a Criterion release. I absolutely love that. This is for the 50th anniversary, dear Lord. There's that logo again. This was number 59 in the series. Got some audio commentary. A lot of different cool shorts on here. A interview with one of the Lollipop Guild, the last remaining member. That's kind of cool. I don't know. You can't go wrong with The Wizard of Oz. It's a classic for a reason. Looks like this was bought for $9.99 back in the day. What a bargain. And here's what the inside looks like. So there you have it. Those are all of the laser discs I picked up on my latest uh, collection journey outside in a new in a new format. I I love how there's different pockets.
still to get like the best possible picture quality you can out of this sucker because i honestly think it looks pretty dang good well thanks again for watching and until next time i'll see ya